this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Do you know what I find really inspiring? This hole right here. It leads to a loft space that I just use for storage. And it has this door that blocks out all the sunlight when it's closed. So I want to replace it because the current solution is impractical and boring and kind of poorly built. So replacing it is a very low stakes experiment. So I want to make a window that I can slide back and forth to access the loft space. And my first idea was like, okay, what if it's a window, but then it's also like, a lava lamp. But then I remember that I don't really like lava lamps. So my second idea was like, okay, what if I can turn it into like a kinetic window diorama? So I'm thinking like a stained glass forest, but then it also has like a thin water tank on the back of it with like blue water droplets so that it looks like it rains on the forest. Only problem being that I don't really know how to make that. So whenever I'm feeling a little bit nervous or like unsure about a project, I always try to break it into smaller parts. So part one would be making a stained glass forest. I've never worked in stained glass before, but I got a lot of band-aids and I'm excited to try it out. The second part is making a fairly large, but like really thin acrylic water tank. It will kind of be like one of these toys. So there's clear oil and then there are these colored water droplets. And I want to have a pump that brings that colored water to the top and make it look like it's raining. So to start things off, I made a tiny prototype window out of laser cut acrylic, hot glue, and just a five volt water pump. I filled it with some soggy workshop water and baby oil. There are gonna be some really dry babies out there in the world because I just bought up like a year supply of baby oil. It's just non-toxic, clear oil. I put some food dye in and turn on the pump and um, yeah, pretty much nothing happened. Okay, it definitely looks less like rain and more just like a blob. Yeah, I think the two panels are just so close to one another that it's not really letting bubbles form. So I made a new prototype with a wider gap between the two acrylic sheets. And initially I was really excited about it, but that quickly faded. Uh, okay, it's absolute fucking mayhem. <laughs> I just wanted to work. And look at the way that I picture it in my head. Actually, I'm not sure how I'm picturing it in my head, but like, I don't want it to look like this. So I thought, what if I use glitter and a fan and instead of it raining, it snows. That way I don't have to have a gallon of baby oil hanging in the ceiling of my living room, which is preferable in the grand scheme of things. Just imagine that the sawdust is like glitter. <coughs> so I headed out and I bought a bunch of glitter and then I uh, conducted some experiments. But apparently, I'm just dead set on being unhappy. It's falling too fast. Oh. Okay, I know yesterday, just yesterday I said, no liquid, fuck that shit, I hate it. Maybe I was wrong. So in a final compromise, I decided to put the glitter in water just to make it fall slower. Fuck you, gravity. Okay, so here's the plan. I got two sheets of quarter inch thick acrylic and this O-ring cord that I'm gonna use to waterproof it. So I'm just gonna drill holes along the edge of the acrylic, put in the O-ring cord, secure it with bolts, and then we'll just take it from there. watertight. I'm 80% certain that it's going to be watertight. Oh yeah. Tight. It is. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my God. Oh, it's buckling so much. 
I can't. Oh, no. It's not going to work out. It's going to be too heavy. It's going to stress the acrylic too much. Like, this is... I can barely lift it, and it's not even all the way full. So we're back to glitter and air. <laughs> I cleaned out the tank and I made some sort of fan contraption and lo and behold. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing happening. I feel like for whoever is still watching this video and if you haven't given up on me yet, I don't. I think this is a good time to give up on me. Since you should never ignore the advice of a dog, and I just kind of want to feel like a competent builder for a second, we're going to take a break and talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by KiwiCo, and I'm building their hydraulic claw tinker crate. KiwiCo makes these really cool hands-on projects designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM. They offer nine subscription lines, all catered to different age groups, and the one I'm currently building is for ages nine and up, and I may not have kids with opposable thumbs, sorry scraps, but I've gifted so many Kiwico crates to the kids I do know because I believe that small lessons today can lead to big world changing ideas tomorrow. And uh, side note, I just learned that this is called a Brad, so yay, good for me. You can get 30% off of your first month of any crate by going to kiwico.com slash Simone30. Thanks Kiwico. I'm gonna make one last effort. So instead of this O-ring cord that has a little bit of a thickness, I'm going to try using this plumbing putty. All I want to see is if I reduce the gap between the sheets of acrylic and reduce the volume of water, will it magically work somehow? So I filled up the new tank. Is it leaking? It's fucking, it's leaking. You motherfucker. Okay, I am officially giving up. This is me at the end of my rope. Fuck this window. I'm gonna make a stained glass lemon instead. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while and I think it would look really nice and I hate this so much. I feel so defeated. Oh my God, there's so much water. Oh, the amount of pumps I bought. Do we have another bucket? Once I'd found a bucket and a mop for that wet ass window, I made a lemon window design using Illustrator because when a project hands you lemons, you make a stained glass window out of it. Also, I used to have this beautiful lemon tree in my yard and I accidentally killed it a while back. So. Let's say the design is a tribute to that tree. A tree butte. <laughs> I went to a stained glass store and picked my colors and then I laser cut all the parts of my design out of plywood and used that to trace onto the glass. Honestly, I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to do this and cutting glass took some getting used to, but oh my God, it is so satisfying. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Like, I just, it's exhilarating. So basically these pliers just have like a little bit of a curve in them. So they force the brake when you push down really, it really doesn't take that much force. The best thing about having spent the last five years learning how to build things is that new skills are so much easier. They just come easier because you have so much else to take from. If this was the first thing that I learned, then maybe it would be a lot harder. I mean, I am so full of myself right now. <laughs> you know, it really builds upon years of other skills. I know it's been only like 45 minutes of things going my way, but I just want to announce that I am a stained glass master now. 
and um, this is a new me. I know that I keep on like doing this in every video, but like every process that I can demystify, it just blows my mind. And the kind of dark secret of this project is that I normally don't even like stained glass, but I love this because I learned about the process and I did it myself and I like lemons and I need to make the frame that it's gonna go in and then like mount it and uh, then grieve that this project is going to be over, but also it means that I can make more stained glass things. If you're my friend, prepare yourself for getting stained glass presents every birthday and Christmas. Feels stable enough. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't move at all. Oh, good. into the house. I'm really trying to like just celebrate the house and this window really feels like it celebrates the house and all its quirks and personality in such a good way. I am so stoked especially considering where this project started and like ugh, all the million back and forth. I am so happy I don't have a water tank up there. If you haven't tried making stained glass try it out. It is so much fun. Like I just so thoroughly enjoyed the process of it, minus the grinding. The grinding wasn't that great, but all the other steps, 
I, I can't wait to make like a million more stained glass pieces. Thank you so much for watching and for like bearing through the roller coaster of this project. Uh, yeah, I hope you're having a good day. Okay, bye.